स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लास इलेवन फिजिक्स आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज कॉलेज इन वी आर कंटिन्यू विद दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आर अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ कॉलेज इन एंड वॉट इज कॉलेज इन विद एन विद द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ईच टाइप ऑफ कॉलेज इन नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द इलास्टिक कॉलेज इन इन वन डायमेंशन ओके सो Here, in elastic collision of two uh, one dimension, there should be two object involved, which are moving initially along the same straight line, as shown in the figure. We have two objects A and B, which uh, which are having velocities initial velocities velocities u one and u two, in which it is very clear the velocity u u one is greater than u two. then after some time a strike to b let's say or as per figure a and b are collide to each other or strike to each other then after it is observed that they are moving in the same straight line with the with the new or final velocities v1 and v2 it is observed that the velocity v2 is greater than v1 because the mass of object b2 is smaller than a then at the time of collision the momentum appeared in b is larger than a but according to the conservation of momentum the initial momentum of the two object should be equal to the final momentum after the collision so this is momentum by using a and b initial case before during we can calculate the momentum before collision and by using m1 v1 and v2 m2 v2 we calculate the collision uh, momentum after collision okay and this is the case of collision okay now for this for the elastic collision we have the characteristic or important part that is striking against each other without any loss of kinetic energy it is the very most important part ke is kinetic energy kinetic energy clear as we have discussed in the previous class that in elastic collision uh, linear momentum is conserved total energy conserved and the kinetic energy also conserved and last is the force acting or involved in the elastic collision there should be those forces are conservative in nature okay so this is the condition and continue to move along the same straight line after collision as shown in the figure now <clears throat> consider that <clears throat> suppose two objects or balls a and b of masses m1 m2 as i am showing here in the starting from the figure m1 is greater than m2 we can also write here m1 is greater than m2 which means a is heavier than b having initial velocities u1 and u2 as here it is indicates initially that u1 is greater than u2 we can also write here u1 is greater than u2 respectively now from figure <clears throat> a is approaching to b clear now a is approaching to b therefore we can calculate the relative velocity of approach a to b okay this is the relative velocity of, of approach before collision we can write is this or either u a b a approaching to b clear now similarly after collision the object is moving in a straight line and with the new velocities or final velocities that the object gain after collision due to the conservative force acting between the time of collision 
दैट रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन आफ्टर कोलिजन दे आर सेपरेट एंड मूविंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन विद डिफरेंट वेलोसिटी वी वन एंड वी टू देन वी गेट द सेपरेशन वेलोसिटी दैट इज वी ए बी ओके वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज द लेटर वी ए बी रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए विद रिस्पेक्ट टू बी ओके नाउ दिस इज द इनिशियल कंडीशन नाउ वी हैव टू लोज दैट द मोमेंटम इज कंजर्व एंड सेकेंड इन द इलास्टिक कॉलेज इन द काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज ऑल्सो कंजर्व विच मीन्स देर इज नो लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी एज वी आर यूजिंग हियर नाउ according to the principle of collision according to principle of collision that we call condition we have two condition of collision that linear momentum is conserved before collision and after collision and second the kinetic energy in the elastic case of elastic collision is also conserved before and after okay now first we find here linear momentum before collision <clears throat> linear momentum before collision ओके, वी से इनिशियल मोमेंटम विच इज इक्वल टू मास ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वन विच इज एम वन सो प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एम वन यू वन प्लस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एम टू यू टू दिस इज इनिशियल मोमेंटम नाउ सेकेंड linear momentum after collision after collision that is final momentum okay which is product of mass and their velocities that is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 ओके लेट वी ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट काइनेटिक एनर्जी काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिफोर कॉलेज दैट इज के ई इनिशियल is equal to half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square and kinetic energy after collision that is half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square these are the two situations now first case <clears throat> according to according to प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लीनियर मोमेंटम 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 बिफोर कॉलेज इन 
इक्वल टू मोमेंटम आफ्टर कोलिजिंग ओके दैट इज एम वन यू वन एम टू यू टू एम वन वी वन एम टू वी टू ओके नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर कैलकुलेट इन एम वन वी वन एम वन यू वन इन वन साइड एंड मोमेंटम ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट बिफोर कोलिजन एंड आफ्टर कोलिजन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ए एंड बी इन डिफरेंट साइज ओके सो एम वन इज कॉमन यू वन माइनस वी वन एंड एम टू इज कॉमन वी टू माइनस यू टू ओके नाउ Calculate from here. Okay, this is say equation A. Now, according to law of conservation of energy. According to conservation of energy. energy what we get that ke initial is equal to kinetic energy final from here we get half m1 u1 square half m2 u2 square is equal to half m1 v1 square plus half M two V two square. Okay. Now in LHS and RHS, in each equation or each term having this half, we can cancel it by LHS and RHS after taking half as common. Therefore, now again we are doing the same. M one U one square minus V one square equal to M two V two square minus U two square. This is let's say equation B. Okay. Note down till this point. Okay. By dividing equation first and second, or we say yes, equation A divided by equation B. From here we get m1 u1 minus v1 upon M one u one square minus v one square equal to M one v two minus u two and in denominator M two v two square minus u two square. Okay. Now from here. M1 cancel by numerator and denominator. Similarly, M2 also cancel by the denominator. Okay. Now, from here we get U1 minus V1 upon U1 square minus V1 square is equal to V2 minus U2 upon 
v2 square minus u2 square. Now we can apply here the formula of a square minus b square that we get u1 minus v1 upon u1 plus v1 u1 minus v1 and in equal to v2 minus u2 upon v2 plus u2 and v2 minus u2 okay now this cancel by numerator here also cancel by numerator from here we get From here we get uh, 1 upon u1 plus v1 and 1 upon v2 plus u2. By using cross multiply we get or by taking the reciprocal. Okay? That is V2 plus U2 is equal to V1 plus U1. By using their ratio, we get V2 plus U2 upon V2 minus U2 plus U2. One minute. Uh, one minute now calculate from here initial and final velocities then we get from here v2 minus v1 is equal to let's say this is equation first and this u1 minus u2 now we get from here u1 minus u2 upon v2 minus v1 equal to 1 or we say equal to e and this is coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution okay just note till this point as we know e is equal to 1 for elastic collision that we get in the result also okay Now, by using this relation, coefficient of restitution, we can calculate, let's say this is equation second, okay. Now, from equation second, not need to take this as equation second. Now, velocity of A of A after collision okay from equation first 
फ्रॉम इक्वेशन फर्स्ट वी कैलकुलेट फिलोसिटी ऑफ वी टू दैट इज वी टू इज इक्वल टू वी वन माइनस वी वन प्लस यू वन माइनस यू टू ओके नाउ दिस वैल्यू पुट इन इक्वेशन ए बाय पुटिंग v2 in equation a now what we get uh this is also equation a we are using here this equation okay that is m1 u1 plus एम टू यू टू इक्वल टू एम वन वी वन प्लस एम टू एंड वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ यू टू दिस वी टू ओके वैल्यू ऑफ वी टू इज वी वन प्लस यू वन माइनस यू टू ओके नाउ बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग इट एम वन यू वन प्लस एम टू यू टू एम वन वी वन एम टू वी वन एम टू यू वन एंड माइनस एम टू यू टू नाउ बाय इक्वेटिंग द इक्वेशन फॉर वी वन वी गेट वी वन इज कॉमन फ्रॉम हियर v1 and m1 plus m2 and these two value transfer toward the left we get m1 u1 plus m2 u2 plus m2 u2 minus m2 v1 okay now v1 m1 plus m2 is equal to uh this is u1 now in this term and in this term u1 is common okay so m1 minus m2 into u1 plus here m2 u2 plus m2 u2 so 2 m2 u2 this and then after v1 is equal to v1 is equal to m1 minus m2 u2 plus 2 m2 u2 upon m1 plus m2 this is velocity of v1 after collision this is velocity of a after collision okay now velocity of p after collision v1 
velocity of b after collision okay from let's say this is equation second okay from equation second by putting value of v1 from second by putting v1 okay that we get uh, v2 is equal to v2 is equal to this m1 minus m2 u1 plus 2 m2 u2 now by taking lcm here okay we get this result this is m2 u2 and m2 u2 yes u1 m2 u1 that we get one minute so when we multiply this with u2 we get m minus m1 u2 and minus m2 u2 okay now this is subtract from here and we get m2 minus m1 u2 and in denominator m1 plus m2 this is velocity after collision of second object b now we have some special case okay we have v1 is m1 minus m2 u1 plus 2 m2 u2 upon m1 plus m2 and v2 after collision m2 minus m1 u2 plus 2 m1 u1 upon m2 plus or we say m1 plus m2 these are the two velocities okay now special cases <coughs> 